at Cocktail Conversations, candid insights from startup founders, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders from around the globe. My name is Elizabeth Yin, and I'm the CEO and a co-founder of a company called Launchbit, which is an ad network for email newsletters. And I started this business with my co-founder, Jennifer, who is actually my best friend from middle school and high school. So it's sort of been a long time in the coming. So I grew up in the Bay Area, and I went to college in the Bay Area. And afterwards, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get out of here. And so for the next about uh, five years or so, I decided that I really wanted to travel the world. And well, one of the best ways to travel the world is to um, get other people to pay for it. And so I've worked for a couple of different companies and interned and uh, done some consulting as well in, um, uh, in Switzerland, Japan, and India and New Zealand. Well, you have to be really adaptable and learn very quickly. So for example, when I was in Japan, um, I had to learn a whole new set of training, a whole new set of skills, if you will. I worked in a sales office while in Japan. And even though I had studied Japanese for about 10 years in school, it was nothing like what I had to go through for this training. Namely, not only did I have to learn some new language, but I also had to learn about how they did business very quickly. So for example, when you take customer meetings in Japan, there is a correct place for every single person to sit or stand. So if you're in the elevator, for example, there is an exact position for where you should stand in the elevator. You don't just kind of pile in there like here in the US. And so I think uh, now, you know, now that I'm starting my own business, uh, granted there are a number of specific skills I've learned at these companies, like especially in the areas of marketing, um, I think more specifically I've learned that you really actually have to be able to learn things on the fly because there are many things you actually didn't know before that you have to now know. So I know that a trend that's happening now is that a number of entrepreneurs are traveling and starting their businesses at the same time. And before they really get going with a team and everything, this is plausible and it's often cheap, especially if you go to you know, uh, countries that have, uh, you know, where your dollar goes further. Uh, so that's one way to, to really travel and see the world as well as you know, work on your business. As far as whether I would recommend it, well, I don't actually think that traveling you know, is necessary to start a business. There are so many successful founders that I see around me who have not really traveled at all.